Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I'm back with another Lush Kitchen unboxing, and uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. I saw a spoiler for the contents of the box. I've had the box in my possession for over a week. I still haven't even opened it. Like usually when I do these unboxings, I've at least like cut the tape off, opened the box and like sniffed it, you know, to get hype. Cause I like to actually unbox the items on camera so you guys see my actual true reaction, I guess. But I'm so like discouraged, I guess, by what's in the box that I haven't even been bothered to do that. Now that I'm opening it, the smell is extremely strong though. And I'm liking the smell, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very masculine, citrusy, clean, woodsy smell. I'm not mad at it. So here's the box. I don't know what the deal is with this. Lush did this funky thing now where when they first started with this, they would put, for example, July 2020. And July was when you voted on the things, but now when you received them, you'd receive them in August. Now they've changed it and it makes more sense to me this new way where it will say on the box or even on the announcements, hey, get ready for blank. It says the month that you're receiving the thing. I don't know what's going on here though because I most certainly am not receiving this in 1995. But let's look inside. Perhaps we will have an explanation. Okay, so the first thing I see is there are stickers. This is definitely the way to my heart. <laughs> you guys know I'm big on planning, I'm big on stickers. These are bigger stickers though. Like, I don't know if they'd fit in my planner except for like maybe decorating the sheet between the months. But it's really cute, it's very retro. I mean, I guess that's the point, right? 1995 and then 25, has it been around for 25 years? Is that what we're doing? I wish they'd have said something. Maybe they did though, because I've literally just opened the box. So there's probably more things in here I'm willing to bet than just a sheet of stickers. Nope, turns out there's not. <laughs> there's an invoice and then there's a list of the items in here and the ingredients so that you can tell if you're allergic to anything or not, which I very much appreciate. But no uh, explanation really as to why 1995. From the context of the stickers, I'm gonna guess that it's like a 25th year anniversary thing, but that sounds really like, like it's a big deal. I wish they'd have made a bigger like hubbub about it. Maybe included a story about the company. I don't know, something to address that, hey, 25 years, thanks for being a customer. I don't know. We have our fun star-shaped foam as always. And the smell is getting overwhelming, but like in a really nice way. So let me pull out whatever, the first thing I find. Lush Lime Shower Smoothie. Adopt a life of lime and get the zest kind of clean with fresh strawberries and zingy organic lime juice. So this sounds like it's gonna be right up my alley. It sounds like it's going to be extremely citrusy and maybe a touch sweet. I don't know what a shower smoothie is though because it sounds like it should be a soap. Because it's a smoothie, does that mean it's more moisturizing or does it maybe mean that it's like a scrub and it exfoliates so it leaves you smooth? Get ready to feel refreshed as you scoop out a little or a lot, wash all over and rinse away for the perfect start to your day. Okay, so that doesn't help me either. It's got olive oil, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, almond oil. Okay, so I'm gonna guess it's just a very moisturizing product then, like a very moisturizing soap. That is extremely subtle for lack of a better word. Yeah, I was expecting to just get slapped in the face with like, bah, zing, lime. This is so bland smelling. I hope it's one of those things that comes alive in the shower because I've mentioned it in other Lush unboxings. There have been products where I've smelled them upon cold sniff and not been impressed. But then once you get them in the bath, once you get them in the heat and the water of the shower, then now suddenly it's like the bouquet opens up and you go, oh, that's what they were going for. So I'm really hoping that this is one of those things because in the pot, it barely smells of anything. What will we find next? What on earth are you? Okay, this is a funny little ugly. 
this is ugly. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm usually a little more careful with my words. I like to be eloquent and consider really what's the best possible word to describe anything at any given time. This is ugly. This looks dirty and dingy and like someone left it out and it got moldy and then they went, it's ready now, put it in the box. I do like that it's like embossed with the word lush on top. That's kind of cool. I believe they're selling all their soaps this way now but it's just an ugly soap. What is this? I can't smell anything from here yet, by the way, which usually their soaps are like, bah, doing a lot of that, right? But yeah, usually it just like overwhelms you how strong their soaps smell and this is not it. Okay, so I'm looking at the little like picture listing, I guess, showing everything that's supposed to be in here. This soap was created in 1995, so there you go. It is apparently called Dirty Boy, and it's one of the surprise items that we did not vote on. Which, by the way, the Lush Lime Shower Smoothie, I didn't personally vote for it, but it was one of the options for people to vote for. So let's finally smell this, I guess. Actually, hold on. That looks wet, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like someone used it and then just put it back? and then they went and sent it to me. That's very off-putting. I don't know if it's supposed to look that way, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't love that. Okay, now let's smell it. I can't decide if I really, really like it or I really, really don't. It smells, it's like a very clean and almost oceany scent. Lots of herbal notes to it also, but then it almost has like a peppery, thing at the end? I don't know. I do like this scent better than the lime one, that's for certain, because at least this has a scent. Like it or not is a different story, but it smells of something. But I feel like I might have to actually use this to get a proper feel for it. Yeah, it's a very, it's a polarizing scent for sure. Moving on, this is just the weirdest box ever. Like I, I wish we could know. I wish we knew what was coming in these boxes because if I'd known that this is what was gonna end up in this one, I'm gonna be completely frank. I would have skipped it. I wouldn't have gotten this box. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is a giant pot of body lotion, apparently, and it's creme anglaise. I've never smelled this myself, but I have read and I have heard that this is a very polarizing scent. So I guess that's just the theme we're going for here. And this is a very big pot, so I'm going to guess that this is the big item because all this time, every box I've received, I did skip July's, but every box that I've received, we've gotten a big product and it's always been a shower gel and I don't see a big shower gel in here. So I'm guessing that this is supposed to be in place of that. So hopefully I like it because there's plenty of it. Deeply moisturizing, fair trade organic cocoa butter fills every bit of this golden body lotion to adorn you with the softest of skin. I like the smell of cocoa butter. Um, the fact that that's all that they have to say about it though makes me think that this is going to be very one-dimensional. Smooth this sumptuously scented creme brulee lotion all over your skin for soft skin and a rich spiciness that lingers all day. Okay, that's more exciting sounding. This is leaky though. That's pretty gross. Again, if I was in store and it occurred to me to buy this product, I would have picked up a different pot. If I pick up a pot and it looks like this, I don't want that to be the one that I bring home, you know? Okay, here we go. It's a funky, like, yellowy, buttery color. That's not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be awful based on the stuff I read online. It is just like, it's kind of generic. It reminds me a lot of the Vanilla Delight lotion that we got a couple months ago, but I ended up actually loving that one because of the formula. This is the formula that I was talking about in that video, which I guess I'll post that unboxing up here since I'm referencing it so much in case you guys wanna see that. But all the lotions I own from Lush are this potted kind and they leave my skin really greasy, so I barely use them. I liked the Vanilla Delight Lotion because it came in a bottle and you can feel that the formula was different. It absorbed into your skin right away. So even though the scent was not like, wow, anything to write home about, it's one of my favorite lotions and I use it all the time because of the formula. This scent is a little nicer to me and a little more complex than Vanilla Delight is but it's that formula that I'm used to on the pots. So let's see how tacky or sticky it is. 
yeah, this is it's the same greasy formula as Sleepy and Sultana and Karma Cream and all the other potted lotions I've ever tried from Lush. So, oof, no, no. Oh, okay, I get what they said now in the reviews. See, this is what I mean about cold sniff being different than once it's applied. Something about once it's rubbed into your skin. This is an old lady smell, dude. Like, grandmas smell like this. I think probably without even trying. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna be 100% upfront with you guys. If any of you guys want this, hit me up and I'll sell it to you for a very fair price because I know that this is just gonna sit around and go bad. I promise I'm not gonna use this any further than you just watched me use it, so hit me up. Ugh, I almost just want this box to be done already. <laughs> like, I'm so disappointed so far. What a huge waste of $65 US plus. Because yeah, in case you're new to these, that's how much it costs to get the Lush Kitchen subscription box in the United States. Yikes. All right, so let's keep digging. Okay, I'm familiar with this. I've never used one myself, but I know what this is. This is Tisty Tosty, and it's a bath bomb that I think was last released in Valentine's Day of 2017. I know that because I started buying Lush products for myself in March of 2017, and I remember that this was sold out everywhere we looked because Valentine's Day had already finished, but I was really intrigued by the scent notes of it, so I never got to smell it, but I knew that if it ever came back, I wanted to try it, which of course means it never came back. But I have one now, so um, I'm excited. The roses have definitely seen better days. Even in the picture, it's, uh, you know, it's intended that they have some color to them and mine do not, but that's fine. And as you can see in the picture, it was also rose pick, which means that we didn't vote for it. It was just something that they decided to put into the box. And it also first came out in 1995, apparently, which I guess is the whole theming, right? Okay, this is obviously extremely floral. It's just like a true rose smell, not as sweet as rose jam just floral, floral and fresh. This is most certainly my favorite scented thing so far in the box. And of course, as luck would have it, it's a single use thing, but that's beautiful. They should bring this back like all year round. I don't know why they wouldn't. If the flowers are too expensive, leave them out and maybe reshape it and call it something else. But this scent, there should be more products with this scent. It's amazing. Is getting to use Tisty Tosty for the first time and only one time worth the $65? Absolutely not. And the last thing, this is I think the only thing that I voted on that actually made it into the box this month. And it's tiny, this is a Slammer shower gel. If you've watched any of my other Lush videos, you know that I absolutely love shower gels and I will always vote for them. I will always buy new ones when they come out. Even if I've never smelled them before, I just really like being a completist when it comes to Lush shower gels because it's almost certain that I'm gonna love them. I've never smelled Slammer before. Slammer is a retro product and I've never experienced it, but again, me, shower gels. So this says, wake on up before you go-go. This invigorating citrus and honey mix is sure to put the boom boom into your heart and fuel an early start. Lots of wham references there, obviously. And the person that bottled my shower gel kind of has a George Michael vibe to him, so I'm not mad at that. So this has lime peel, ginger root, seawater, lime juice, lime oil, lemon oil. And that's pretty much it as far as scent notes. Oh, that is so weird. That smells like lemon candy, but also kind of like floor cleaner. It's weird as hell in the bottle, but I can tell that I'm gonna like it in the shower. <laughs> it's just like an extremely aggressive sweet citrus scent, but I think I'm gonna like it though. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, if anybody wanted to take the body lotion, the shower smoothie, and the soap off my hands, I'd be all right with that. I'm happy to get to use Tisty Tosty, but I would have much rather not had this box and kept my money to be completely honest. The bottle of Slammer, if it had been the size that I've come to expect from the Lush Kitchen, which is the eight ounce bottle, this is a three ounce bottle, then I would have been much happier with, you know, everything else, I guess. But I, I don't think that this box was worth it. 
I would have been much happier to just not have this box. That being said, we've already voted for the stuff that's coming in October. They are doing Halloween themed stuff, it seems like. So that's pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to that box. I feel like there's very few things that they could throw in there that would disappoint me. Although now I've gone and thrown that out into the universe, so maybe that just jinxed it. And I'm assuming that they're gonna do something similar for Christmas, I would hope, I would think. So I'm definitely getting the October box because I've already paid for it. And assuming that they do something Christmassy themed for December, I will likely get the December box as well. Unless some really crazy, amazing stuff comes up to vote in the November box, I will probably skip November because I'm just so turned off by the stuff that I got this month that it would take the promise of a theme or the promise of potentially some really good stuff to get me wanting to receive a box in November. So that's gonna do it for this unboxing. I'm curious if you received this box, did you feel the same way I did? Were you kind of really underwhelmed, disappointed, etc.? Did you love everything in the box? What's something that we voted on that you wish had made it in instead of one of these things? And are you signed up to get October's box? Let me know in the comments. So I wanna thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.